In the myth of normal, you talk about how trauma manifests in the political sphere and in our political leaders. Perhaps you could talk a little bit more about why you feel that Justin Trudeau's quote, nice guy persona might be a result of things that happened and didn't happen in his childhood. You know that Pierre was, I think, 52 when he married this 22-year-old woman. He married somebody that could easily be his daughter, who herself has bipolar illness, although it's not diagnosed. He's a womanizer. A lot of men in power are. Now you have this 30 years younger, jealous, upset wife with bipolar illness, screaming fights in the house. Now what kind of atmosphere is that at home? Now one response to a child like that is to become sort of very nice and kind of a peacemaker and let's make everything okay, but not look at things too deeply because it's too painful. And that's how I see Justin. If we look at the right side of the political spectrum, Pierre Polyev, he's born to an unwed teenage mother whose mother passed away while Pierre was born, and shortly after his birth, uh, he's adopted. I could have predicted all that, because that much rage, it comes from somewhere. It comes from early childhood, which then infuses into the politics. So I'm not singling out one side or the other. I'm just saying that we don't realize the extent to which our childhood orientation, our emotional stance in the world affects our political views and our political activities. And this conservative candidate would be a typical example.